burger. I've landed in Nuremberg and it's a lovely place and my room, my room's pretty damn nice. So, a little bit different to last time, I'm actually going to show you around this place. It's um, small and it has its challenges but we'll make it work. Come on, I'll show you around. Got the candles, got the goat's hide, perfect for the Instagram. Two burners. So we've got a fifth of a knife and these plates. Yeah. So, uh, come on, people. This is not that difficult. Matte finish, no patterns. And as I've been feeling rather poorly, Fritz here will be supplying me with toilet paper during my stay. Thank you, friends. So far I've bought sausages, chestnuts, apples, fed salad, potatoes. It's all sounding very German, but then again, I don't really know what German is, so we'll find out, I guess. See what happens. Time to go to the kitchen shop for a peeler. There's just some things I just cannot do without, so I'll leave it at the Airbnb. So, here's the official food lineup of Nuremberg. Got a few apples here, got some red cabbage, some fed salad, and some marjoram. Also got this meat, don't quite know what that is yet. I think I'm going to make a fried apple and a red cabbage salad tossed with um, the fed salad. So I'm going to try that and actually see what it tastes like. Notes of marjoram and then a little bit of tang from the lemon and I think it seems to be quite common but uh, white pepper. On the other side we've got what I've been told is Germany's best potato and then whatever these things are I'm going to have to do a bit of research into those but I think I'm going to peel them and try and make them into a puree. I've got some roasted chestnuts, pre-roasted because I can't be bothered doing that. Everything needs an onion, garlic, and I think with the puree I'll use some butter, which I happened to get, and it ended up being Irish. Uh, and I've got some milks to help with the puree. And I've got the sausages underneath. And I think it all should come together rather nicely, although I think on this side we might be lacking a bit of colour. So, maybe some fence of that too. We'll see how we go. Alright, wish me luck. Oh, Carol! Carol. Mm. Oh my god, this knife! So um, to help with my uh, German food experiment, I just decided to go get a real German. So this is Jana. Hi. No, you gotta come back. <laughs> this is Jana. Uh, yeah, she's gonna eat the food, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully she thinks it's good. Hey. So as I cooked, I noticed a trend starting. It's like warm flavours, the snug sweetness of marjoram and a hug of white pepper, both locked in a beautiful embrace with the caramel of the apple. This warmth would become a recurring theme. We end up with a fried apple salad. Hey Yana, is it good? Yeah. So with chestnuts and the best potato in Germany, and a laughably small knife. I laid the foundation for the next dish. Boiled the potatoes, 
just to get them nice and tender, and then gave them a bit of a saute with another warm flavor, and that's caraway. And so that worked really, really well with the Schwarzwurzel puree, and together it was a really good combination with the Weisswurzel. All in all, the dish came together and sort of warmed you from the inside. It was sort of like all of these flavors were all coming together and along with the heat of the dish, were designed to make you feel comfortable. And I think at that point I was starting to cotton on to what German food really is. So. Mm. Delicious. Is it German though? It is German. Why? Because of the Weisswurst. <laughs> and the road cool. <laughs> We're headed out into the pulsating market to sample a little bit of glue vine. In my case, quite a lot. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah? Oh, forgive me. Which means? Don't forget me. <laughs> And you buy um, these uh, candles and you put them inside and then you light it up and then they smoke mm -hmm. and it smells good. So German food is just meat and potatoes, and that's what Jana said. And to be honest, the market experience dictated that to a T. It's pretty much all that was available that wasn't imported. But in saying that, in the same way that Italian food is summery and simple, German food is wintry and simple. It's, I'm freezing my ass off, it's bloody cold outside, Give me some meat and potatoes right now, sustenance cuisine. And I love it. It's ugly delicious. I'm gonna go get a sausage before I go. See you later.